Okay, so in today's math lesson, we're uh, comparing integers and other rational numbers, and we're putting things on number lines, and we're reading situations and deciding whether we agree with them or, di or not agree with the situation, and we're also coming up with our own uh, real-world situations depending on what values, uh, on, on given values. Okay, so in the first part here, we have Felicia, and she needs to write a story problem that relates to the order in which the numbers negative 6.5 and, and negative 10 are represented on a number line. So she writes the following. Dur during a recent football game, our team lost on two consecutive downs. We lost 6.5 yards on the first down. During the second down, our quarterback was sacked for an additional 10-yard loss. On the number line, I represented this situation by first locating negative 6 and 1 half. I located the point by moving 6.5 units to the left of the zero. I then graphed the second point by moving 10 units to the left of zero. So what I'm going to do here is first find for myself where these areas or where these uh, values are on a number line. So that's going to help me decide whether or not I agree. So here's my number line, just a rough sketch of an outline uh, number line. Here's my zero. I'll stick it in the middle. Now, if I want a 10-yard loss, a loss is a negative number. So we're looking at for negative 10. Does that match up in my story for an additional 10-yard loss? And it does. A 10-yard loss means I'm losing 10 yards, so that's a negative value. That's a negative 10. And I'm also, I noticed that uh, we lost again. We lost 6.5 yards. So yes, that negative 6.5 does match up with my story as well. So I'm losing uh, 10 yards and I'm losing 6.5 yards. They're both negative values. So, on my number line here, if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I count out my negatives from negative 1 to negative 10. My negative 6.5 will be negative, let's see, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. It'll be somewhere in here. Here's my negative 6 and 1 half. And my negative 10 will be over here. All right, there's my negative 10 over here. So let's go back to the story, make sure everything is, is uh, written correctly. I located my point. I located the point by moving six and a half units to the left of the zero. And there they are to the left of zero. There's that first point. And then I graph the second point by moving 10 units to the left of zero. And there it is, 10 units to the left of zero. So my answer is agreed. Okay, so I agree with this. It says, defend your stance by citing specific details in your writing. And I agree because both, let's see, both negative values must be located to the left of zero. The fact that yards are lost lets me know that the values are negative. Okay? There's a period at the end. All right, so these are the types of things we're working on today. And then, after that, we actually came up with our own situation. So if I'm going to cruise down here a little bit. So there were a number of situations to look at today and proving whether you agree with them or not. So then for homework, or if you had some time in class, we were talking about uh, taking a story or coming up with our little own little story uh, and w when you're given a number line. So here's a number line here for number one. And I see that I have zero plotted and I have four plotted. So I have to come up with my own little story that talks about these uh, two points. So let's just say, let me see, a student, um, let's see, was given two exams. On one exam, the student 
scored four extra points. On the second exam, the student scored zero extra points. Oops. Okay. Now, zero is all by itself. That's not pos it's nor positive or negative, so that's going to stay all by itself. But the extra points, the fact that I wrote the word extra, lets me know that that is a positive value. Now it says, be sure to include a statement. Be sure to include a statement relating to the numbers graphed on the number line uh, to their order. Let's see. So the number four will be located, or is, is located. Let me change that. Number four. is located to the right of zero. Okay. It is also a greater value okay so there we have it a couple of statements if I'd like to add a little bit more zero is a let's see why not zero is a smaller value because it falls to the left of four on the number line. Okay, and this is really all confirming the fact that the number line is really your proof of everything. As the values cruise across to the right on the number line, those values go up, and as we find and locate values to the left, the values go down, okay? Regardless of where zero is or the other values, if a value is to the left of another on the number line, it is less than the other number. And if a value is found to the right of one of another number, then it is greater than it. Okay? All right, folks. That's all. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.